Uh, ow! What happened? I got bit by a snake! It is done. Let's just consume it right out of the pot. And we are healed. Like magic. Alright, Sword Virus Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to Retreat to Enin. We are picking up right where we left off here after the end of the last episode, and I figured we would play at least one more time. Just one more episode and see what else this game has to offer because we didn't really get to experience very much. Oh, there we go. We now have some kind of bacterial infection. <laughs> Ailments can be cured by cooking different plants in a cooking pot. All right, well, that's something new. Fantastic. It's all for all for science, folks. It's all for science. So we can make a an antiseptic. Is that what we need? Cure pathogen boost. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and cook up some teal majesty. Just a couple of flowers that we had found out in the wilderness. And we'll add some fuel here. Um, I think that's enough just to cook this one little thing, right? Maybe some breakfast. Although, wait, is it morning? I'm not sure. Seems like it's later in the afternoon based on the lighting and the shadows. Let's check. Oh, it is. Okay, it's, uh, well, it's early afternoon. So we got the rest of the day to mess around. And then we'll, uh, I think we're going to set up a new camp somewhere else. Looks like our food is still here. That's good to know. Can't quite reach everything, though. I'd like to get that coconut. I'm going to have to pick up the raw chickens. So apparently we can unlock new recipes at the Golden Domes, right? The Meditation Domes at the Ruins. So that's something we're going to have to um, do pretty quickly. Because I do know that we'll get a storage container, among other things. Where are you going, bro? Get back over here. Ain't no you. Um, we have to zap it with our superpowers, right? Zapped! Wow. Get back over here. Did that spill? Nope. Perfect. <laughs> I should have drank out of this first. I wouldn't have gotten sick, but that's okay. Like I said, this is all for science. So let us um, drink our antiseptic. I'm pretty sure we can put that in a, a thing. There was something here for it. Uh, a tonic bottle. But we don't need to do that because we can drink it right out of the pot while it's still hot. Let's press E to consume. Mm. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. And now our... Uh, bacterial infection is gone. Awesome. All right, now let's go ahead and eat those two halves of an empty coconut instead of banging them together. Oh, we can make another antiseptic. Yeah, why don't we do that? And then we'll carry it around with us. Yeah. Let's cook that. Fire's still good. Uh, the wood's still good. What are these things? Those are taters, right? Can we eat a raw tater without getting sick? I don't know. Let's just let's stick with the bananas for now. Here we got star fruits. Just fill up the belly. We'll decide what to cook later. We'll try to cook this meat. I want to drop this right here. Get that out of our inventory because we're getting pretty close to full. And the pelts. We can't do anything with the pelts just now until we um, make a tanning rack of some kind. Right here, pellet drying rack. But I don't want to do that here because now I just now I don't want to do it here. Don't want to do it here. Um, because we might move. Yeah, I, I kind of want to live near the beach where the sun is, where it's nice and sunny and warm. So let's go find a new spot to live, and then we'll put that drying rack out. But before we do that, I want to make a, a tonic bottle. All right, so now can we just scoop it out of there? Oh, yes, we can. Press Q to bottle. So now we have a bottle of tonic. We can just carry it around with us. That's awesome. And here's all the food recipes. Oh, we can bake potatoes. Well, let's do that then. How long is that going to take? Um, all right. Let's let's make some arrows. And we'll go do a little hunting before bed. Um, go to hunting and arrows. I'll make a few of these. Plenty of materials for that. Okay, we're going to go out and collect some resources, because today we're going to build that, um, I want to build a shelter. Oh, it's a taiki. Oh, check our trap. Nothing in the trap yet, huh? Yeah, I guess there's no rabbits here. Do have gobblers, but I'm not going to shoot that guy right now. We need this stuff right here. Plant fiber to make the shelter, so we're going to need a lot of it. So I'm assuming that continuously grows and replenishes. Otherwise, we're not going to have 
enough to make a shelter. Uh, there, there may be a tool of some kind to perhaps get, like, some of these vines, strip them down into into uh, dried grass or something. <laughs> some kind of cordage. Oh, here's a little pool of water. Let's not drink out of that. Looks pretty nasty. And we're going to need lots of clay, too. So let's zap the clay. And our quantum control, our little spirit symbol down there is getting a little low. We're going to have to do something about that. Any nanners here? I'm running around without looking down. I have a feeling there's going to be some snakes and some spiders in the game. I'm going to end up running right into one. It's kind of like green hell in that respect where you, we shouldn't be sleeping on the ground. And I know we can get bit by something in the night when you do sleep on the ground. So we're going to want to make a shelter pretty quick. Now, what is this here? Um, well, here's a... Here's a meditation dome. Let's go ahead and do that. Can I get in there? Let me in. Gonna get our spirit back. Let's sit down in the wet mud. And we'll meditate. And we won't even be thinking about the wet mud. Or anything. Now, is there a way to speed this up? Because I honestly don't want to sit here. But it takes some time to replenish that spirit. If we leave now, we won't have full um, spirit bar, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not crazy about this in a video game where we have to sit still. Where we're basically forced to sit still to replenish our spirit. I don't know if there's another way. Maybe we could, like, make some kind of a potion or something with the gemstones to replenish it. And I understand that this is kind of the the uh, claim to fame of this game, right? Kind of the unique concept. It's interesting. I'm just not sure it belongs in a video game. Like, if I want to meditate, I can just meditate in real life. Um, it's not really why I game. So, we'll see how that all pans out. I don't mind if it's there. I just don't want to be forced to do it. You know what I mean? Um, okay. Now, let's head back because it's going to get late. I want to go to bed. Oh, here's some grass. Grab all the grass. We can make a rain catcher to catch nice potable water too and then we don't get we won't get sick. But again, I don't know where I want to do that yet. Here's a nice little oasis. But it's not... Oh, what is that? Um, but it's not on the coastline. I kind of want to be in the sunshine instead of this dark wet jungle. Valley of the Giants. We can't go there yet. Um, Alright, let's head back to camp. We'll sleep. And then we'll go look for a new camp location. A permanent location where we can build up a uh, real shelter. Should get my bow out in case we run into something nasty. I'm not even sure if there are any hostile animals. I think, like I said in the last episode, I think I know there's bears and um, wolves. I'm not sure if they're in this starting biome. This seems to be kind of like the newbie zone. Where we can get comfortable with the game before we have to fight for our life. Whoop, where am I going? Uh, where's my home symbol? I lost it. <laughs> Boy, um, no, it's over there. Oh, wait, it just disappeared. That means we're close. It's got to be right here. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. Excellent. Okay. Oh, baked potato's done. Should we eat it while it's hot or wait? till morning. Let's just eat it now. See how much that fills us up. Not much. So why don't we get a fire going. Can we make a meat and potato dinner? That would be nice. Meat stew. We need one more mushroom. We have a mushroom. Yep. 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 We have a mushroom in the basket. So let's go grab it. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to get everything. It's hard. Okay. I have to pick everything up just to get to that one egg down the bottom. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Breakfast scramble for breakfast in the morning. That's 65 hunger and cure malnutrition. Wow. Oh, this does give you spirit back. So you can get spirit from the from food, but not very much. Or we can do a meat stew. Yeah, let's make a meat stew. And we'll eat that in the morning. And I'd love to make a rain catcher right now, but again, I don't think we're going to stay here much longer. So we might have to drink out of the uh out of the the oasis 
All right, meat stew is going to cook through the night. I'm just afraid to go to sleep and then it not be done for some weird reason. I mean, you can never tell with these early access games, right? Well, let's try. Ready? Good night. Oh. <sighs> See, that's where I want to be on a beach. Be beautiful. In the sunshine. All right, we didn't get any diseases sleeping on the ground to last night, but... I think there is a chance. Oh no, the meat stew's not ready yet. Oh. Ruins activated. Ruins activated. Okay. I'm gonna finish cooking our meat stew. And I'm gonna take my chances with the water. Because I don't think the coconut's gonna supply enough hydration. Okay, fine. Fine. Okay, we got lucky again. <laughs> All right, meat stew is done. Let's eat it. There we go. Now we are full up, fully hydrated, fully fed. And away we go into the wild green yonder to try to find out. Uh, well, try to find a new place to live. And yeah, it does look like the grass is back. So that is excellent. Looks like all the resources are back. And nothing in the trap yet. And we can't bring it with us. That's a shame. Got some clay here. We're going to need clay for building. We do have to zap it. We still have a lot of spirit left right now, so we don't need to do any meditating. Oh, no. What is that? Oh, it is an iguana. Let's shoot him. How do I shoot again? Oh, no. We got to release, dude. We got to release. He's so slow. <laughs> well, I want to practice with the bow. Oh, that was terrible. Don't get my arrow back. Oh, got him! Alright, oh, we got that arrow back. How can we get this one back? I guess you only get the killing arrow back. So, oh, no you don't. There you go. Okay, just had to find it. It's hard to see. Okay, let's, uh, let's zap him. Oh, I can't even... can't even harvest the poor little guy. Oh, it's weight. Weight base. Here's our weight right here, I think. Some kind of volume. Alright, well, no big deal. Let's go find a new camp, and then we can unload. Yep, and I am going to head toward this hexagon here, assuming that it's going to lead us to a new ruin. Oh, here we go. That looks nice. Don't run. Don't run. You'll run right into a snake or a gator. Oh, what is that? Is that a bridge of some kind? All right, well, let's cross the bridge. This is kind of nice. I do wish there was a map, because I don't know where the beach is, and I want to be near the beach. There's a waterfall. Ooh. This could be very nice. Get a little bit of uh, sunshine here. Can we build in the water? Maybe we could build right over the water. Get some morning sun right here. All right, we're going to do it here. We're going to do it right here. But first things first, I'm going to make a survival shelter. Just so we have a place to save the game and sleep while we're building our big, big shelter. Normal shelter. Because I want to save it right here. Okay. All saved up. Now, let's start building a shelter. Building basic. We have a square foundation, triangular foundation, and these all require clay, sticks, and fiber. All right, well, we have to start with a foundation, right? So let's go with a square foundation. And is there a way to raise and lower? Yeah, okay. We want it, um, I want it, obviously, above the water. Now, are there stairs? I don't know. <laughs> I hope so. I don't want to have to jump into this thing constantly. Uh, let's just put that. Oh, can't put it there. Oh, yes, I did. I did put it there. Okay, it just took a second to materialize. And uh, we'll do another one right here. It's going to be beautiful. We'll do half in the water and half out of the water. There we go. Just a two by two square looking foundation. Now we just need some walls and a roof. And we'll be good to go. That probably freed up a little bit of space in our inventory. Yep, down to 103. How about we do the drying rack? Oh, we can't. Wow, we're out of sticks and fiber already from that foundation. All right, well, then here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go back out and hunt down more stuff. But I am going to drop flowers 
They're not really super heavy. Pelts. Let's not drop the rocks right now. Let's make a campfire. That'll use up some of the rocks. Yeah, six rocks and a bunch of sticks, unfortunately. We'll put the campfire over here. All right, campfire. And on top of the campfire, we are going to need... Oops, wrong thing. A um, pot, right? Cooking pot. I need more sticks. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, back into the woods to find some sticks so we can finish up our cooking pot. And once we sleep, that little uh, house symbol will update to this location. We're pretty sure that's how that works. All right, well, we're finding food, but no sticks. We don't need the clay. Here we go. Pile of sticks right here on the sand. Oh, right, let's grab some fruit while we're here from this tree so that it will replenish for next time. And I've got a few sticks. Let's just go back and whip this thing up. Some other fruit. Yeah, hopefully there's a way to get sticks from, you know, trees and bushes down the road when we have actual tools. <laughs> That would be nice. All right, let's make our cooking pot. This is a very important survival device. There we go. Let's go ahead and get something cooking up since we have all this food. Let's have breakfast for dinner tonight. We'll ignite that, get that started. I love breakfast for dinner nights. So great. <laughs> All right, the scramble's on the way. Now, let's make that drying rack, which was under hunting. Oh, I need sticks again. Dang it. Let's go this way. Back with the sticks. So, let's make our pelt drying rack. Let's just stick that over here. Uh, this looks like the front, maybe. Here we go. And need to add pelt. We gotta go pick up our pelts. All right, two pelts. See what we get out of this. Add pelts. Um, there we go. I guess just one at a time. Yeah, it's one at a time. Wow. Okay, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> yeah, I wish we were able to move things in the world like you can in um, Stranded Deep, so you don't have to keep opening your inventory and fiddling with keys and stuff. But it doesn't. Oh, we can. You can right click and drop. Hold on, drop that bow. No, 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 drop the bow. Give me my hand. You can move stuff around in the world. It just kind of floats where you leave it. So if we rest it on the ground here, uh, it's not really resting. All right, well, that's cool. You can move stuff around in the world. I didn't know that. There we go. That time I dropped it. Maybe it just needed a clear, clear ground or something. All right, it's a little flaky, but it does seem to work some of the time. Scramble is done. Uh, okay, what else can we do? I guess just collect, because I want to work on our shelter so we can sleep in this pretty soon. Now, what about a bed? Is there a bed in here? Okay, we do have stairs. That's good. We have door, floor strip, roof, roof corner. A hammock. Okay, maybe we can put a hammock inside the shelter? Maybe we don't have a bed recipe yet, so we might just have to make the hammock until we can get the bed recipe, and my guess is that's going to be at the next ruin, which we should probably maybe try to get to before sundown. I don't know. It might be might be a dangerous journey in the night if we get stuck out there. Yeah, I'd like to have a basket for the clay and the rocks. We can just dump them all in there, but just don't have the resources to spare right now. Let's zap that guy and... Oh! It's gone! No! Come back! Gave it to Mother Earth. I'm gonna bring you... Can I Can I pick you up? What? Oh my gosh, my spirit's so low. I didn't even do anything. Alright, we gotta do something about our spirit. But let's drop... These coconuts. And... Oh, I can't even bust it open because I have no spirit! <laughs> uh, yeah. I wish I had a tool right now. How about if I eat something like a banana? Will that return a little spirit? No. 
Not at all. All right. Well, I can't eat the coconut. I know. I'm going to go and meditate. Oh, I can't sprint either. Maybe sprinting reduces your spirit. That's why mine went down. Okay, let's go find a meditation bubble, get the spirit back, because we already know that sleeping does not return your spirit, right? I don't think so. Let me save it. And let's go do some meditation. I did see a meditation bubble around here. Didn't I? Spirit too low. I know. We're going to go and meditate. Hold on. Yeah, there's one over there. No, don't leave. Oh, I left. I left too soon. I pressed E to try to do the quick breathing thing. I mean, it didn't work, and I left the bubble, and the bubble is gone. I'm assuming it comes back in the morning, like all the resources that do return. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I guess we'll figure it out. What is that little thing? Tater. All right. Um, what time of day is it? We still have some daylight. I just don't want to get too far from camp because I don't remember how to get back. <laughs> is this fresh water? Yes. All right, let's have a drink because we're getting thirsty. Over here in the deep water? Sure. Whew, okay. No bacteria. <laughs> it's always a gamble. Okay, I'm just going to collect more resources for building. And maybe we can get some walls and a roof on our shelter in this episode. That would be nice. Um, but nah, I doubt it because it does require a lot of resources. But this looks like it's quite a few things right here in this location. Oh, turtle! Turtle! We don't want to kill the turtles, but we just want to steal their eggs. We'll come back for more later. We can have more breakfast scrambles for dinner. So my guess is when you make flags, that will eventually allow us to set up waypoints on some kind of a map system. And you can mark places like this, like the, you know, turtle breeding grounds, for example. All right, back at the new base, such as it is. And let's save it quick. And let's see if we can whip up some walls and a door, maybe. I don't know if we're going to have enough materials for a roof, but we'll see. Let's do this plant creep stuff. Sure. Let's put a doorway. Um, right here. Plant creep. Boom. Looks beautiful. And let's do a plant creep winder. Right here so we can look out, see who's coming. We get any visitors. And maybe another winder in the back. Uh, the side, rather, and then one in the rear. And I think... That's all we can do. What are we missing? Clay! And my spirit is too low to go collect more clay. And besides, it's too dang dark. Let me zap that thing. Yes, let's drink. And uh, drink. And then pick it up and eat it. Oh, wait. We have a scramble here, don't we? Breakfast scramble. 100%. Um, well, let's just eat some stuff that we have here. Seems like there's plenty of food in the wild, so I'm not going to worry about this. All right, we'll eat that in the morning and then get another scramble going before we head out for the day. How's our pelt? Only 36%. Wow. Okay, that's going to take some time. All right, let's sleep. Oh, too early to sleep. Really? Oh, come on. Now we can sleep. Good night. Another peaceful night by the water. Doesn't look like we got attacked or anything. Yeah, another nice peaceful sleep by the water. Fantastic. And yes, indeed, all of the fibers are back right here on our beach. That's nice. But we're going to need more clay, right? Oh, we need more spirit. That's the first thing. Oh, yep, look, the dome is back. I know, I know. We're going to go meditate, okay? Yeah, this is going to become a bit of a hassle, I think, the way the spirit is right now. I'm not sure it adds any value. Um, again, I do like the concept, and I think meditation and mindfulness is good for everybody, but not so sure about being forced to do it in a video game. 
Maybe if the spirit lasted a little bit longer. All right, now I'm not going to touch any keys. We're going to finish this up. All right, spirit is 100% restored. And I didn't realize my health was low too. And this does heal you up. But the other gauges are going down. Hydration and food are reducing while in here meditating. But let's get back to 100% health. And that looks good. All right, get up. Got work to do. Whew, okay. And we're back. What time is it? Nine o'clock. So let's see. What do we need? We need sticks. Uh, mostly sticks. I want to try to at least finish up that shelter today. So let's go gather up some sticks. Ooh, bunny. Bunny wabbit. Kill it. Kill it dead. Got him. Nice shot. Get that arrow back and let's quantumize it. Get another pelt and some meats would be nice. All right, shut that thing off. Very good. Oh, and I think our home symbol did update. So, yeah, right there. Should be able to find our camp much easier now. So I'm going to go up into the woods. And look for... Uh, ow! What happened? Hey, snake! I got bit by a snake! I didn't even see him in the grass. I told you. That's what happens when you don't have your... Eyes down. I gotta kill him now. Wow, he was hidden in that grass. Where are you? Where are you at? Dang you! Wow. I hear him hissing, but I don't see him. Maybe we should just leave him alone. <laughs> okay. Well, detour. I'm gonna head back to camp. Whip up some anti venom. Um, wait a minute. We might have to kill him for the anti venom. I think we need the venom gland. I think that was in the recipe. So, we, sorry, we're back. We have to kill you. I'm sorry. You must die. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Got him. Whew. Man, he was really well hidden. Okay, let's uh, let's harvest him and hopefully we get a gland out of this. Venom gland we did. Excellent. All right. One venom gland, and I'm pretty sure that was in the recipe for the anti-venom. So let's, let's head back, because this is doing some damage. Just want to grab a couple of sticks first. <laughs> All right, let's head back home. Watch out for those snacks hiding in the grass. All right, let's not run through the grass. Let's run along the beach, where a snack would be clearly visible. All right, now let's eat our scramble. Mm -mm -mm. And let's throw some wood on the fire. Let's save some for building. Oh, wait, we don't need the gland for the anti-venom. We just need the enin, enin flowers. Okay. I thought the uh, gland was in the recipe. Well, that's good to know. Pretty easy to make. Just a couple of enin flowers. And light the fire. Let's go. Taking damage here. Stuff hurts. Good boy. All right. 58% with our pelt. It's dropped out of the pelt from the little bunny rabbit. Drop the venom gland, too. We don't need to carry that around me, thinks. And we have eight wood. So let's get working on our house while waiting for our anti venom to brew. We're building basic, and we wanted to do some plant crete walls. One and two. We're not going to make anything too fancy. Just want to get this shelter done. So, yeah, it's just going to be a little two by two. We'll have to make some stairs up. Two more walls. There's some sticks. Get it. Get some grass. All right. Let's go check on that anti-venom. It is done. Let's just consume it right out of the pot. And we are healed. Like magic. Fantastic. Alright, I need more clay now. So let me go gather up some more clay. And we'll try to finish up this shelter. It's taking way too long. Here we go. Here we go. So I don't know if we're going to get to any ruins today. To unlock any new recipes. Oh, here's another... Uh, meditation dome. Good to know. Another one right in our backyard. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm not missing clay today, my friends. 
Zap it all. Oh, one more here. Control Need all the clay and all the sticks. I think I might meditate quickly so it doesn't take quite as long since we're already above half. These things come back every morning, I think, anyway, so it's definitely Begin worth it. Meditation. <sighs> I feel refreshed. Restored. Yes, and restored. I actually did it that time. I did. It works. I feel better. I feel better about everything. Even down here, sweating my butt off in my basement since I don't have any air conditioning and I can't turn on my fan because it makes too much noise when I'm recording, so I am just dripping sweat. But it's, it's kind of like being in the jungle. So it's like real. It's cool. Wah! Okay, now, now I'm afraid of stepping on another snake. <laughs> Ooh, grab a coconut. And I think we should go back and finish up. Where is the home symbol? Right over here. All right, race you home. Actually, no, don't run. Don't run. Eyes on the ground. Stick to the sand if possible. <laughs> okay, we're back at base camp. Let's go ahead and finish this up. On our regular wall here. And last wall in the back and some stairs maybe and a door basic stairs are wow oh entrance stairs uh it's gonna use up all my sticks dag nab it well we need it so go ahead and do it and we can walk right in without hopping around okay there we go that's our that's our shelter it's beautiful one last thing and that would be a door so let's go get some more sticks. Um, we should probably grab a drink first. Oh no, my meat spoiled. Okay, I was not aware that the meat would spoil. Dang it. All right, well, let's drop it over here. Not in the water source. Dang nab it, it's all green and gross. <laughs> Yuck. All right, well, now we know. I had a feeling that was going to happen. It took a couple of days. I think that was the uh, turkey. I got a pathogen. Fantastic. That's just lovely. All right. Well, let's take care of that. Throw some fuel in here. All right. Well, that's cooking up to take care of this inf this bacterial infection. Um, let's go find some more wood and we can finish up the shelter. Finally, once and for all. Oh, yeah, yay. Got to be a better way to get materials than running around foraging. And like I said, my guess is there is a way to do that. Once we get tools, we can chop down trees and bushes. And look at this. It's a cave. Ooh. This is nice. Oh, man. We could have put a shelter in here. That would have been cool. Although I like the sun. I want sun. Oh, there's feathers here, too. Fantastic. Let's kill the toiki. We're gonna need fresh meat. Got him. Easy does it. Gotta watch out for the snacks. All right. Let's. Oh man, look at our health. It's down by half. We gotta get back to our antiseptic. But I'm still gathering resources. I'm getting greedy here. All right. Let's go this way. Okay. It's gotta be done, right? Uh oh. Oh, no, I never lit the thing. Duh. All right. Dang, nab it. All right, now it's cooking. No worries, it's cooking very, very quickly, much faster than the egg scramble. <laughs> I think we'll make it. I'll drink it right out of that pot. Mm -mm -mm. All right, speaking of breakfast scramble let's get one going and we're gonna have to add some wood hopefully we still have a little bit more at least for a door we get eight wood should we do the door or a roof? Oh, you know what we can't make a roof we don't have enough so we're just gonna put in a door all right basic door six wood holy moly but it will provide a little comfort and security all right oh okay here we go close the door beautiful we have a shelter yeah, it's an open roof shelter. 
but that's fine. Get plenty of sunshine and air, right? Um, I don't have a window on the waterfall side. That was an oversight. <laughs> Maybe we can build one of those later, but I've got to go out and collect more sticks because we're out again, and I'll probably do that in the morning, um, and they will all come back, right? Oh, I had an antiseptic on me, didn't I? Yes, I did. Drat. Completely forgot about that. Oops. Oopsie. Oh, gotta grab that for more antiseptic. Is that the teal thingy? Yes, teal majesty. And our pelt is done, 100%. Let's add another one. Scoop you up and put you on there. Now, what can we do with pelts? What did we get out of it? A cured pelt. I don't know. I don't know if we have a recipe for that. Let's see. Oh, we can make a water flask. Um, okay, let's make a water flask. So what does that do for us? Oh, you know what we should do? Make a rain catcher, even though it's not raining. I did see that in here. Yeah, rain catcher. Let's put a rain catcher out. So when it does rain, we'll get some nice fresh water. It won't have to um, boil it. Not even sure if you can boil water. I didn't see that recipe on here. Ooh, breakfast scramble's done. Let's just go ahead and consume it because we're hungry. All right, there we go. That's very cool. So that collects not only rainwater, but also dew from this little plant up here, right? Morning dew. I think that's why that's in there. All right, very cool. Uh, too early to sleep. I just want to save. Oh, shoot. We should have saved that pelt for a hammock. We're going to need four of those. Let's just go ahead and make a smoker. Just because we can. All right, let's just drop a smoker right here. And we do have some meats. So let's throw some meat on here. We've got large raw meat. Oh, just hook it right there. Put it, slap it on the hook. And that bit. <laughs> okay. And then one small meat. All right. Oh, we got to light it. All right, there we go. Now we're going to have some nice smoked meats. And my guess is that it won't rot quite as fast as the raw stuff. Um, can we extinguish this? Oh, yes, we can. Stop, stop. Yeah, we need to save on that wood. All right, so that's fantastic. And now, my friends, I think we're going to just call it quits for this episode. If you want to see more, let me know down in the comments. Leave a like. Um, I was thinking about maybe just making this last episode, but I still... I think there's still more to do, so I might do one more. Might do just one more. We'll see. Um, I am gonna do some off-camera collecting though, if we do that, because I spent a lot of time looking for sticks and clay and so forth. So I'll do I'll do some of that off-camera. All right. So with that, my friends, we're gonna call it quits. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye bye.